Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and we have finally reached the end of the road of the beta program for Samsung One UI 6.0 with Android 14. This one is beta 8 and it does have the final change log a part of it. So this one will be the official stable version that I am sitting on here as a beta user and the full official launch will be pushed out to anybody else who is not on the beta program that is using the Galaxy S23 series device. So this one does end with ZWJI. The size of this update here to finalize everything out is 466 megabytes. And really the only thing in this change log is this one line here, which is improvement of overall software stability. Now I have the entire list over here when it comes down into a timeline. Now I can place this link below the video inside the description if you wanna take a look at it. Now when it comes down to the Galaxy S23 devices, it's definitely a Halloween update. This is where you're able to get Android 14 with Samsung One UI 6.0 during the month right now of October. And then for the Galaxy S22 devices and the S21 devices, you'll see it sometime in the month of November. Think of it as like a Thanksgiving update. Then when you take a look at some of the other devices, you got the Galaxy Z Fold devices, which some of these are actually still in beta right now. And these ones are looking at more of a November, December type of outlook. We look at the Galaxy A lineup sometime during the month of 2023 for the A73, for the A54, which is currently in beta. You should be seeing that next month during the month of November. So when you think of some of the devices that was launched this year, you will see it in October or November. Some of the devices that were launched last year, you'll see it in November or December is really the best way to kind of think about it. But I can place this link below the video inside the description if this is something you guys would like to you know read up on about. Now, when you take a look at the last update, the last update, we we got was five days ago on the 14th. This one was beta seven, quite a few bugs that were fixed. Here we are, the stable version, one line, and all I'm gonna do is now install it. Now, once this phone turns back on, we'll take a look at a couple different applications and services from Samsung. We'll also take a look at GoodLock because GoodLock is a good indicator of letting you know when the stable version will be pushed off because they wanna make sure that all of the modules or at least 90 to 95% of them are ready to go when the new version comes out. And I was taking a look at it and everything is working except for two. There's even one of them that was unplugged that is now plugged back in. So there's really good indications that you will be seeing it for the Galaxy S23 devices uh, this month during the month of October. Now it's also at this point in the video that I'd like to state that if your brand's new here at the Challenge Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now that the update is complete, how about we just take a look at a few different applications, just three of them. Then we'll take a look inside of GoodLock and some other things if need be. So first off, when it comes down over into the home, we'll take a look to see if there's a newer version of this one. Now for before this update, this one was sitting at 15001214. This is now 15001233. So we, knew, we have a newer version of Samsung Home. Then if we take a look at Samsung Camera, it doesn't mean that there's new features, just means that there's newer versions. With this one, it, it started with 14.00087. It is now 14.00090, so a newer version of the Samsung camera. Now we'll take a look over at Gallery. And so for this one, before the update, we were sitting at 15.00035. We're now at 15.00035. So it looks like the gallery, there's no newer versions. There probably doesn't need to be a newer version. Gallery updated with the last update about five days ago. Now let's go inside of GoodLock because GoodLock is a good indicator of where Samsung is with the current update. So with this one, there's a lot of updates and changes that has happened recently, especially with QuickStar, Edge Lighting Plus, and even this one right over here, Navstar. Navstar is finally not unplugged. Originally, there was a red word right there that said unplugged. You couldn't update it. You couldn't do anything. You couldn't even touch it. And so now Navstar works. You can actually create your own swipe gestures. You can create your own buttons, fully customize all of that stuff. Now, Theme Park does work. Fantastic works. Wonderland works. Lockstar does not. So that's one that they do need to update. Keys Cafe works. Navstar finally works. Home Up does not work. Uh, you got Clock Face that does work. And then here is a couple of them that had updates that are actually really cool. And I'll actually cover them in a separate video. But really quickly, a couple of the things that you can actually do right here is you can change your quick setting menu grid. So originally, let's say that it was right around here for the normal stock version of what it looks like when you pull down your quick settings. You can see that I'm just basically like a three by four right here. And it takes up three different pages. Now, if I was to go right on back and I wanted to make the space 
in between all of them a little bit more narrow. When I pull it down, you can see that I actually got five across. So now I only got two pages of things so I can get into my quick settings even quicker and put more on the front page, which is pretty nice. The other thing is how much of an area do you want it to access or how much area do you need to access your quick settings? Meaning when you access your quick settings, you can make it down right in the center, which means if you pull down on the left hand side, it'll be just this little notifications panel area here with a couple, you know, quick settings. But then if you pull on this side, here's all of your quick settings, the full entire list. So you can see here that you can actually swipe it left or right and you can see it changing on the very top, depending on where you need it to go. So for me, I don't need to have that much space to pull down my quick settings. Sometimes I don't want to pull it down and it's more of an accidental thing. So I know that I have my lineup with the battery percentage. Then this way I'd be able to pull it down and I have all of this stuff coming up immediately. And if I go anywhere on the left of that, it's just gonna be quickly just my normal little uh, quick settings uh, page right here with my notifications. Now, the other update that has happened was inside of Edge Lighting Plus. And this Edge Lighting Plus one was actually really fun as well too, because now you can have little app icons pulling up everywhere throughout your entire screen when you get a notification, which is pretty fun. So you can actually show app icon instead of the custom style icons. And then right here, I can kind of have it do whatever I wanted to. I can make it rain from the top. I can make it snow and kind of come in from anywhere and everywhere. I can change the colors. I can go with the advanced of, you know, do you want a bigger or smaller? You know, what type of effect do you want? And if you don't want an effect, you don't have to have an effect either. But this one's pretty fun. So if I get a notification through text message or if I'm charging my, my Jeep over at charge point and if I'm done, I'll get a notification there. Or if somebody messaged me on Instagram, I'll get a notification. All these little things will pop up. So yeah, edge lighting did get a pretty big update, which is pretty sweet. And then also with life up, you have nice shot, Noti star, you have your edge touch. All, pretty much all of these ones right here work as well too. Uh, camera assistant, there's uh, you know quite a few things in here that's really fun to play with if you've never played with them from before. Sound assistant, just got a an update and I just showed this off as well too. So now you have the flex volume UI. You can change it between having a bar or a knob. You can have uh, the texture, you can change it. Here's a bunch of different colors that you can choose from, a bunch of different bars that you wanna go from. If you wanna go from like a big square one, a fat one, the skinny ones and then these big pill capsule kind of like looking ones. So a lot of really cool change when it comes down to good luck. So here we are, basically the end of the road, uh, the end of beta program. All of the regular users out there of the Galaxy S23 series should be seeing the official launch sometime between now and Halloween, which is October 31st. Some of the other devices like the S22 and the S21s, you'll see that one during November, you know, during the month of uh, Thanksgiving. And then some of the other devices down the line there, we'll see it sometime in December. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And you'll, I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,